here's Colin the Chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just... <coughs> Too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. 
Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong. But I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells Fish! Well done! I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coat of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor You can wear these any 
anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic You really stand out I love the jacket It's a perfect fit You look amazing Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow They're all here for you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours Then we can see you Once you know about the friends you have You'll forget you ever felt so sad You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look. They're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. <laughs> <laughs>